what's going on here with Nate28 and this is Cross Beats Production. So I wanted to show you guys an alternative to using Gross Beats. Um, if you don't have Gross Beats or you don't have M Rhythmizer, which is made by Melda Production, I'll just show you that. Um, this is what I usually use in my, my productions when I'm doing stuff to slow down, speed up or scratching effects or tape stop, whatever it is. Um, I use this because it's quite easily, easily, easily used and it's quite a good plugin. Um, so basically, if you don't have gross beats and you want to do that slow down effect that you hear in some records, for example, I'll just play you this, um, this track that I'm working on right now, um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'll just mute these two tracks here and play it to you. Okay, so that's kind of like a Rhodes Keys that I've played. It's in the key of C if you're not, if you want to know what it is. Um, and basically what you can do if you don't have the M Rhythmizer or Gross Beats to slow it down, it's pretty straightforward and simple to do. So the way you do it, I'll just expand this a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on and I'll play this track to you. So this is the Rhodes Keys. It's actually the keys that, I'm, that are being played. I'll just highlight that and scroll across. Um, so you can kind of see what's exactly happening. All right, so the keys are there. Um, so that's pretty much the keys I've played in this track. And um, I'll just expand it so you can kind of see. So basically, if I play that to you... All right, so say I was going to get that to sound like the gross beats effect. Here's one that I've done earlier. <laughs> I prepared it earlier for you guys. I'll just play that to you individually. So pretty much what I did to achieve that, I'll just delete that out and I'll show you from scratch. So if you bounce down the audio file, I'll just increase the volume a bit because obviously the volume is a little bit lower than I want it to be. Um, so pretty much that's the audio file there bounced out. So it sounds exactly like the one above it. So it's in the same timing. So pretty much what I would do is I'd expand it out to be double time. Um, so if you just hold down Alt and go right to the edge of your audio file, it'll give you that little clock looking thing there and you can drag it, you know, to whatever length you want. But if you want to have it as a 50 time or slowed, slowed down by double time, this is the way you would do it. Um, so the next thing I would recommend is then get your marker at the 2, the 4, the 6, and then the 8, and just cut each part of that as you go along. Um, and why you would do this is because you're trying to delete out the full length of the audio file. So pretty much just going along and cutting out um, each step. So basically remove that one, remove this one, and cut that out, and then cut this here at the end here and delete that out and then you move each individual file closer to originally where it was so this is going to be a, a four bar four bar loop again and just highlight all of them right click and if you don't have this appearing here it's in the audio things here so you're going to have to auto cross fades so there's no clicks or pops when that when it actually bounces across and then i'll play it to you So that's pretty much it. So obviously you then just bounce that as a file. So obviously it doesn't have to put any more load on your CPU. And that's your loop right there. So you just loop that up and you've got a loop ready to go. So that's like slowed down as you'd expect, kind of the gross speed effect that you get um, without having to actually have it. Um, the other option that you have though is with Melda Production, you can actually download Melda Productions plugins for free um, and they're in a demo format. Um, but you can obviously put the plugin on to your audio file and it does, at, I think every maybe one minute or five minutes or something, it gives you a white noise. But if you have only a four bar loop, you can actually bounce your file when you, you go mix down selection. So if you go to your events here, um, and you can actually go down to a mix down, wait, wait, sorry, go back here, uh, mix down selection and it will bounce the audio file through the plugin. So that way you can actually get that effect if you want to just do a four bar loop um, through the actual plugin of this, this plug that I'm showing you. Um, but if you don't have it or you don't want to do that, 
and you just want to use Studio One as your, your main DAW of choice to do that, then this is a way of doing it as well. So hopefully this is a helpful little tip. Um, I don't know. I think it's helpful because some people just like to get that kind of slowed down effect with piano or Rhodes keys or whatever it is. And this is a good way of doing it for not having to do anything else outside of, outside of Studio One. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make your comments below. If you have any other ideas, let me know in the suggestions below. I'll try and get to them if, if I can, if I get time. Otherwise, hit a like button and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.